statements, there's not just one, but if you really want to look at the statements, the first opportunity that he, he could say something about this case, he said, I was screaming out for help and nobody can. When Officer Serino challenged him and said, I think there may be a video of this, he said, thank God. I, I dismiss with disgust the state's suggestion that he was some cop wannabe savant who knew that he could take on that bluff. I think that really speaks to what George is going through that night and how he presented it. So uh, that, if you want to look for some insight from him, that was it. I'm sorry? Absolutely. I mean, 16 months of being, some people called him the most hated man in America for having defended his own life only after getting beat for 45 seconds. And then a man who believes in the system, whose dad was a judge, who maybe wanted to be a cop or a prosecutor, then gets a system. Two systems went against George Zimmerman that he, had, he can't understand. You guys, the media, he was like a patient in an operating table where mad scientists were committing experiments on him and he had no anesthesia. He didn't know why he was turned in to this monster, but quite honestly, you guys had a lot to do with it. You just did, because you took a story that was fed to you and you ran with it and you ran right over him. And that was horrid to him. Then he comes into a system that he trusts. Let's not forget, six voluntary statements, voluntary surrender and he believes in a system that he really wanted to be part of, right? And then he gets prosecutors that charge him with a crime they could never, ever prove. It's not like they, they didn't lose evidence along the way, right? So I don't think anyone would argue with me in this room that they had evidence of second degree murder. This in your heart kind of stuff, that's not what we're supposed to do and it's not what they're supposed to do. So those two systems fail them. Thank you.